Hello there, Jerome here from Jerome Fitness. How do you stay lean year-round, preferably without too much effort? Well, first of all, skip the idea of bulking and cutting. Now, yes, bulking and cutting does have value, especially if you want to prepare for bodybuilding competitions or simply want to only look good in the summer. I don't, don't know why you would want that, but still, many people want that. However, it is not a guarantee. It, however, it does not help you to stay lean year-round and it also takes a lot of effort, counting calories and also you won't feel that great when you're bulking and probably not feel too great when you're cutting either. Also, get rid of the idea that you should get a 8% body or below 8% body fat to be called lean. I don't know what my body fat percentage is but I think it is lean enough to look good and I look like this year round. So basically what this does is set some more realistic goals rather than going for a bodybuilding competition look which is not attainable or at least not able to maintain year round if you still want to live a healthy life because below 8% body fat as a guy is not healthy. Also Work, work out regularly, obviously, but don't focus too much on it. A lot of people are obsessed with working out and that is exactly what I did when I was 70 years old. Just started working out and wanted to become lean and look like Bruce Lee. Uh, basically what this does is it will become an, an obsession and if you want to look lean year round, then you shouldn't be making an obsession about it, it should be a side effect. Now obviously getting to the point where you are lean may take more effort but for maintaining this look shouldn't be too difficult if you have some proper diet planning and that is the next step. Focus on healthy eating, eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, don't skip the grains, don't skip carbs, the low carb craze is stupid and you shouldn't believe it. Diet is definitely the most important part of staying lean year round. Now, I don't know exactly how many calories I eat on a given day. However, I do know that I focus on healthy foods that are nutri nutrient dense but are not always necessarily high in cal calories. That brings me to the next point which is not counting calories. A lot of people are using fitness pal, stuff like that on a daily basis, which is great if you are a beginner and don't know what the heck you should eat in order to get the results that you want, but if you are more advanced then you should know what to eat in order to get the weight that you want and if you are not happy with that you can either increase the amount of calories or you can decrease it and simply wait for a couple of weeks and see what results you will get. And finally, burn some more calories by doing activities other than working out specifically, rather focus on cycling to work or commuting by a longboard or a skateboard, walking outside every now and then, which is both healthier for you than working out rigorously, as well as it is also easy and it will help you to relax a little bit more. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, subscribe for more thumbs up and I will see you next time.